creating invoice receipt for line item. In this activity, we shall see how an accounts payable accountant creates a supplier invoice. To start with, click the Create Supplier Invoice Advanced app. Set the company code. The purpose of setting the company code is to ensure that all the parameters related to the company code, like currency, are flown. Select the invoice and posting dates accordingly. The invoice date is important because the invoice date plus the payment term gives the due date. The due date will affect the aging reports. The reference field can be used to record useful information or log related to the supplier invoice. I am entering 100 as the amount to be invoiced. Enable the Calculate Tax checkbox and select the appropriate tax code. The tax code determines if the transaction is taxable or non-taxable and helps in tax calculation. In the PO reference area, from the drop-down, select PO Scheduling Agreement and enter the PO number. Choose Purchase Order Items and verify Amount, Quantity and Tax Code. Note that there is a green sign on the top of the invoice which indicates correctness. Simulate to verify the correctness. This is the simulation screen. If there are no differences, the supplier invoice is complete to post. Choose Post. The invoice is posted. The system displays the message with the invoice ID that has been posted. You have successfully created a supplier invoice which will automatically reflect in your accounts payable.